And then across the pond, we have the wonderful Joe Biden, uh, the president uh, at the moment, and Nancy Pelosi, the speaker. And of course, this has been St. Patrick's Day. And you may not realise this, Emma, but uh, anybody that's anybody from the island of Ireland goes to America for St. Patrick's Day. It's a bit Irish in and of itself uh, that we don't actually stay at home for the celebrations. But I'm going to throw to a little clip uh, now of, uh, I think it's the president that we're going to see. Uh, and uh, this is what he had to say the hard-won gains of peace in Northern Ireland. The Good Friday Agreement has been the foundation of peace and prosperity in Northern Ireland for nearly 25 years, and it cannot change. I have made that point, and he's a friend to the Prime Minister of England and others. It cannot change. So there we have a 15-second piece from President Biden in which he makes two huge blunders. First of all, he says that the Belfast Agreement cannot be changed. It's been changed on a number of occasions, most notably by the St Andrews Agreement of 2006. And then he goes on to call the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom the Prime Minister of England. <laughs> Should we be I surprised? Could, I could go on. <laughs> I could Biden. go on, I have to say. Uh, but I think we're going to go to the weather and maybe it's just as well.